Hey guys, it's uh, Bat here, and welcome back to World of Warships. And today I'm playing in the Isokazi. This is the tier 4 Japanese destroyer. And bear in mind, this is the first game I ever played in the Isokazi. And oh boy, what a game it was! <laughs> Now, my friend, who has just started playing this game, who's not very good in it, but hey, what can I do about it? Not everybody starts somewhere. Uh, he's in the Wyoming class battleship. Um, not really much about him in this game, but it's pretty much mostly about me. And the really stupid battleship players on the enemy team. Now, I might say that this is um, easy mode. For tier four, and just just for the record, this is stock, <laughs> right? Um, and after you'll see the results, it's quite quite. Imp I'm gonna. Be, I was impressed. This is a fact. And wow, this. Um, yeah, this does not look good. I'm just gonna go into the outer camera right here. <laughs> and oh, look, somebody is asking what does located mean. And you know what? I was asking the self myself the same question until somebody pointed out that it shows the direction of the closest ship or let's say closest our ship uh, to the enemy so basically I'm the closest so they know where I'm going or something like that I'm not sure what really means but yeah this is the isokadi stock not the fastest um, I like the Wakataki the tier 3 but um, especially the thing that I love about the Japanese <laughs> is you ha you can fire torpedoes without being spotted. Meanwhile, I have the Farragut, and trying to launch torpedoes with that thing is a real pain in the ass because you have to get into into the suicide rage in in order to do that. In fact, the first American destroyer that can launch torpedoes without being detected is the Mayhem, which is tier seven. But yeah. Anyways. I'm moving in to well, just in. <laughs> so what well, so we have? What is that? It's a Karlsruhe and an Omaha. Don't really care about them much. I wanted to shoot that uh, Karlsruhe, but the replay doesn't show me the com complete line because you know when you drop torpedoes, it shows you the line of approximately where you can fire them. But here it just didn't say it. However, on this side I see a lot of uh, ships. And by the way, that line was not correct because I was aiming for the Kong that was at the back and not at the front of the pack. So, yeah. Also, we play back, but hey, we cannot do anything there. The thing that I like about this Torps is also the. Um, well, the Isokazi has two more Torps than the Wakitaki, which means. It can do more damage when it hits. And um, I really like the Asagazi because it lives in the era where the battleship players still sort of didn't work out how to dodge. And well, that <laughs> Congo is definitely one of them, and he's going to take two torpedoes before actually dodging all of them. But they they just ran out of steam. But still, two torpedo hits, 13,000 damage. Decent start, right. What next? What next? There's a cruise over there. I think there's an Omaha. Yes, it is. And there's the Karlsruhe, who is going to be wrecked by Torps. And there he goes. Right. Our team, however, was not very good, and my friend. <laughs> Still hanging back there because, well, he's stock and his speed is not very good. Stock speed of the Wyoming is about 18 and a half knots, which is very slow. That's why he, he's not going very fast. Now, the next victim I'm probably going to claim is that Kaiser. But that's probably. I'll get my word for that. But I think it is going to be, and this time the damage, I mean the indicator where I'm supposed to launch the torpedoes actually works correctly, wow. Now I know the Kaiser is sailing towards me, sort of towards me, 
So even though my torpedoes have 70 kilometer uh, range, they're still gonna be able to get there. Even you know, well now now they're going to get there even without him sailing towards me. So yeah, I spread them out just a little bit, but not that much. Back then I was asking myself, should, maybe I should have you know switched, make a bit of wider spread just in case if he goes faster or turns. And, well, you'd think so, <laughs> but because this is a tier 4 battleship, the Kaiser, he's not very used to turning yet, so... <laughs> the WASD hacks don't really work for him. And this is going to be very well demonstrated with this salvo, there we go. He's going to be hit by 4 torpedoes. Yep, that was... Over 30,000 damage. No, actually no. It was 27,000? Yes. Well, that's single. But now he's flooding, so... <laughs> he's even taking water now. Like, what the hell? I don't think he has used his damage control party. Maybe he has, but... Hey, we can't say it. Now, the one thing that is pretty bad about the Asa class is obviously the guns. I mean, it's pretty shit on every single Japanese destroyer, but you don't really need them because you never have to go that close to an enemy ship to actually do that. And here come other torpedoes, and he gets wrecked by them. The T-22 makes a nice kill on it. Alright. There's still a lot of battleships in front of me. <laughs> Not really sure what to go for. It's definitely not gonna be that Kirov, because it's a cruiser. So then 53,000 damage. Wow, okay, so that's 40,000, about 40,000 to the Kaiser, which is quite effective. Wow, look at that. But that was actually a rock underneath. <laughs> okay. Great map design for gaming. <laughs> this is really not intense, is it? It just isn't. <laughs> Nothing intense is happening right now, because all the battleships are a bit stupid, and I'm just sailing outside of their of my spotting range, which, by the way, is 6.1 kilometers. Now I'm located again, which means I'm the closest to the enemy ships again. But it's quite u usual for me to happen if you're in the destroyer. It's quite very usual to happen that. So yeah. Mm hmm. What should we do? What should we do? Well, at this point I was planning to attack that Wyoming. And I am going to. I was gonna wait here behind an island. If I would be in an American destroyer, I would be able to do this as well because, you know, that's what they live from. They hide behind islands and hope that somebody will come out of them. <sighs> I'm a bit sleepy, sorry. And there's the Wyoming, 2.7 kilometers away, that's very close. <laughs> Which pretty much means that if I fire my torps, there's not much going to happen. I'm, I kind of made a decision that if I go left, I might run into the um, Congo, and I really don't want to do that. So let's just fire all the torps at this guy and go right instead, so I go away from this Congo. Put the speed boost, but that doesn't really matter because he doesn't know how to turn, and that's death for him. <laughs> 92,000 damage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously? That was a devastating strike, even. Amazing. Look at that. <laughs> 92,000. I haven't done that much damage in a freaking Farragut. I mean, come on. Now, but I do think that the Japanese destroyer, at least low tiers, they are pretty godlike. When you get higher up the tiers, they become a bit more useless. Mostly because there's more and more other destroyers that pretty much can destroy you. And that's a pity, because every time I'm in my Farragut, I obviously win all the time against Japanese destroyers, because they have shitty guns and my guns are godlike. <laughs> That's one thing that I don't like about Japanese destroyers, but it hasn't happened in this game because I didn't really engage any destroyers that could harm me. Well, it was a Japanese Isokazi, but he's an Isokazi. It's not made to fire his guns. 
Right. Can I speed this up? Yes, I can. Right. Why didn't I do this before? Okay, so there's the Congo. 5.4 kilometers away. I lose my indicator, but I sort of hope that he's still going to go in the same direction. We're going to see that soon. He is going to. But he's going a bit fast. So those are sadly not going to hit, but they were pretty close. That well, that last one might have hit actually, if he wouldn't have dodged it, but eh, hey, whatever. Oh look, Mario torpedoes are already ready. <laughs> That's another thing that I like about these Japanese destroyers, the torpedoes are off so quickly. But it's just amazing. <laughs> Whoops, that's a bit of a bug. But yeah, that salvo, I believe, is not going to do much as well. Ah, actually, it is going to. Look at that. Bam, bam. That gives my damage up to 106,000. Now, this is a mistake what I've done. This is absolutely a mistake. I wanted to go to back to the gunnery mode because I was in the torpedo mode. And um, I accidentally pressed T. <laughs> So now I just lay the smoke screen for no absolute reason. Wow. Idiot. <laughs> but still 107,000 damage. What the hell is this? <laughs> Anyways, let's just sail onwards, shall we? Right. Let's go. Speed up the replay because it is a bit boring to watch this alone. There go the torps. And. Well, they didn't really hit anything, so... But damn, they, re they really go far away, don't they? Yes, they do. <laughs> Slow it a little bit down. Okay, there is Gongo. He is exactly 7 kilometers away. And I'm actually gonna fire my torpedoes. Whether they're gonna hit or not, I'm not sure. But I think they will. Reason why is because he is sailing towards me now. He has changed course and he's tunnel visioning. And that makes a very happy me because now. That's a dead Congo. <laughs> right. Now that was a bit of a stupid launch there. I didn't realize he was stopping, so that was just a waste of torps there, so yeah. If it would be a battleship, maybe it will still hit one or two, but being a cruiser, it stops so quickly that it just didn't make. Now apparently that you, in order to get a high caliber, you have to shoot apparently, because why I'm going to show you right now. Just wait for that thing to be spotted. That, um, there it is. Nearly capped. And there you go, my shells. Just as, I, as they're gonna about, about to hit, bam, there we go. High caliber. <laughs> Interesting. Does that mean that I have to? I mean, I, I fired at him only because he's, he was almost capped. So, mm. couldn't do much. Now, there's not much thing that I can do right now. They have a spot of aircraft which is spotting me all the time and there is the enemy destroyer. Now happily for me, that is a upgrade at Aizokazi, it's not really a happy thing but I will destroy it <laughs> because he is on low health and I'm not. So that's another ship down. Goodbye. Bam, there we go, fantastic. Another destruction, which gives me up to three kills, but yeah. Just to let you know, this is pretty much everything I am going to do in this game. There you go, the battleships. Battleship misses. Only one hit, but you know, nothing spectacular. But a thing that is not going to. Well, the thing that is going to kill me is going to be a thing that's going to appear right there. <laughs> yep. Now, I couldn't turn away, and that means that that is... 
Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I am very sorry about the um, stop at the end because my when the replay ends it well just ends it stops the recording stops everything so that's one thing that I have to take into in consideration the next time so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed even though you probably didn't because my commentating sucks <laughs> and um, I'll see you next time.